For a third day, supporters of Novak Djokovic rallied outside the Australian detention hotel where tennis's top-ranked men's player is still caught in limbo. The longer it goes on, it's more and more embarrassing for Australia, which is supposed to be the home of the free. And we're not. Lo he's locked up in that hotel room. Djokovic is a fan favourite down under, the winner of nine Australian Open titles and a vaccine skeptic. His lawyers now revealing Djokovic had recently been infected with COVID-19 and that's why he was granted a medical exemption to come to Melbourne in hopes of winning his 10th. But Djokovic was denied entry at the border this week when his visa was cancelled. On Saturday, the Djokovic family spoke out against their son's detention in front of Serbia's National Assembly and accused Australia of a great injustice against one of the most famous athletes on the planet. I don't wish uh, Australian detention for nobody. The Serbian star's confinement is drawing attention to the plight of refugees housed at the same immigration facility. One Iranian asylum seeker who's been here for months says he sympathizes with Djokovic. I really wish him uh, luck and wish him freedom and the same for us as well. A second Australian Open hopeful also had her visa revoked after she got the exemption because she too had recovered from COVID. She's now left the country. I just don't think we've gone about it the right way. This Australian tennis star, previously critical of his rival's behaviour during the pandemic, is now criticising his treatment. I hope that it all gets sorted as soon as possible. Like for the sport, we need him here. It's that simple. Like he's one of the most influential sports people probably of all time. Australia, a country that is 78% fully vaccinated, is also seeing its cases rise with more than 100,000 new infections reported for the first time in the last 24 hours. Now, against that backdrop, the Australian Prime Minister is defending the decision to send Djokovic home. The cancellation of his visa, now a matter for the Australian courts. His lawyers will challenge the decision on Monday. Karen Seolin, City News.